Did I could the lights? Hey, here's a quick little data Aiku delight about how to add Python libraries as packages inside of data Aiku. The default installation of data Aiku comes with a lot of really useful Python libraries that data scientists and engineers and just any data professional that writes code is likely to use pretty often. But there are certain things like um, Packages that you found on GitHub, or just searching Stack Overflow, or even asking ChatGPT, how do, how can you help me? Um, that says, hey, you know, install this package, uh, this this Python library, and that's going to save you a lot of time. Somebody's already solved this problem. In my case, I was doing this because I wanted to get data from an API, but I'm not really that familiar with working with this particular API, and I found that somebody had created the Python QuickBooks library to interact with QuickBooks and get things really easily, especially dealing with authentication and OAuth and API keys and so on and so forth. I wanted something simple, but that package isn't included in Data Science Studio. How do we add it? Well, if you go to the documentation, you might find some things about opening up a command line interface or terminal and um, you know typing in pip install, so on and so forth. There's actually a really, really easy way, and that's what I wanted to show you. So here I'm working with my notebook, and just to demonstrate the problem that we're going to run into, if we try to just follow code that we found online or copied from somewhere else, hopefully a colleague, um, you're going to find, hey, no module named such and such because we haven't installed that package. Well, to, do, to get this done, here's what we do. We're going to go on over to administration and we're going to go to code environments. Now you see there's a lot of different code environments here because Data IQ is going to um, install some of these things when you install certain plugins. They want to make sure that all the packages and all the stuff that um, is necessary for that code to work and to work smoothly, all the packages and libraries and things are compatible with each other, it'll install its own environment for a lot of different plugins that you might want to use but we can also create our own custom environments. All you do is click New Python Environment. I like to use Manage by DSS. Um, you can do things that are more advanced if you're so inclined. Give it a name and pick a Python version that you do have installed. I know that I have 3.7 installed, so I would pick that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because that's going to also install a lot of default packages and things like that. Um, it'll take up a little bit of time. So just like the cooking shows, I've already got this thing in the oven and I want to show you the result. Under here, um, my custom Python code environment, if I click on packages to install, you'll see here this requested packages section. And in my particular case for this project, I know that I needed both the Python QuickBooks library and the Intuit OAuth library. And so once that's in there, all I have to do is hit save and update, and that will request those packages from pip and install them in this code environment. Now the next question is, how do we use those things? Well, we'll go back a couple of steps here and get back into our notebook. Now again, you're going to see we can't use it. So uh, why is that, right? We added the packages. Well, that's because we still haven't changed the environment for this notebook. If you created a notebook with, say, the default environment, it's not going to automatically choose one of your custom ones. So if we go up here to kernel and change the kernel, now I can choose the Python environment custom Python. That's the one I just made. So I'll click that, and now if I hit run, no more errors. So I like this because this way I don't have to go and look at something like Anaconda or um, some other kind of package manager. It's just kind of built in. And all I really have to do is know the name of the library, know that it's hosted 
um, on pip and um, create that code environment with the point and click stuff that I just, I really like. And hopefully this saves you some time. It saved me some time as well. So there's your Data IQ Delight. Data IQ Delight.